don't forget all the exco you see, or all volunteers. So there's a lot of work. Since we came in, this was the main issue. This was the main issue. And, and you're going to submit a, a plan, and it's a very thick issue. And, and we spend a lot of uh, time, a lot of sometimes even on weekends to, to come, come up with this program. And I, I'd like to announce that we make a presentation to SSC. All the sports have to make the presentation to SSC. But, but, uh, but very important is that uh, on December 1st, when we make the presentation, the feedback from them is this. Because they know, again, I'd like to emphasize, they know we're zero funded. They said our presentation was impressive. And in fact, they're going to, they're going to uh, in a, every year there's an NG meeting, they're going to use our report and, and say, look, this SAA people has done a great job in that. I will not, de I will not go into the details of that, which I think uh, uh, Kunalan will be touching more on the MYSP. Now, this is, what I want to say is this, you can come up with any fantastic plans, but the important thing is the implementation and the monitoring of plans. So that's very important. So the critical part of the MYSP will be given to stakeholders. Parents, I'm happy you're here because parents are very important stakeholders. Let me, let me share with you some experience. Uh, I was at Asian Games. I think Amanda, where, where is Amanda? Amanda must be the most consistent athlete. Always 12, around 12, 12, 05, 12, 03, 12 second. But I tell you, if with any, I, I, I talked to actually Chan Piu. With, with sports science, sports uh, to help, I'm very, very sure she can break the 12 seconds, easy, in sports psychology. She's the most consistent athlete I've seen the last six, six months. Always 12, 12, 12, 3, 12, 12, 12. But the barrier is, it's the 12 second. And, and, and I think, uh, I, I spoke to Yofi, I said with sports science and, and nutrition or psychology, definitely she can break it. Uh, Amel and Elfie. They did very well in the first round. I spoke to the China counterparts. You know, I said, your athletes are pretty good, you know. They still fit every round they go. They said, oh, they got, uh, they got, what do you call that? They got, uh, yeah, they got, they got uh, uh, something to help them to recover, recovery system. And I said, what kind of recovery system? is some intravenous thing. <laughs> I mean, let, let's be honest. Sports science is so important part of our training. He ran together with the, 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 all the best in Asia and he did well in the first round. But what happened to him in the second round? Recovery. Everything is recovery, recovery, recovery. Uh, you, you read in the press, I, I, I was joking with James because I'm a horse owner. I said, when my horse, race horse run, I got trenching on a horse before the race and after the race. And race horse and human beings are no different. Right, Alfie? So, <laughs> so, so, what I'm saying is that we, we are there. We, your first round, first first hit, ran well, okay. But after that, keep on dropping. Again, again, I think we need sports science to support us in, in doing what we want to do. And that's where we are trying to, uh, James and I, we are trying to look at uh, what Singapore sign with uh, Japan. Because we understand Japan can, can, uh, can send some of the, uh, one of the rec requirement to be a sports uh, scientist is to send outside for internship. So we are thinking of getting one of them. Because at the moment, let's be honest, we are not the, we, we may be the most important sports in, in, in any like Olympic Games or Asian Games, but in terms of priority in Singapore, I honestly don't think we are the top priority. So while we have sports science, sports uh, psychologists, I don't think we have enough people to give us personal attention. But if we get one intern guy from Japan to be attached to SAA, the contribution can be quite good for coaches and, and athletes. So, be before I hand over to Kunalan, actually I missed out one thing on, uh, I talked about Japan, Korea and all that. Uh, we have been working with MCYS, I meant to, to we've been, uh, during the YOG, I think you, you you know, Wilson Kipkata was here. You know Wilson? And uh, uh, I was uh, in dialogue with uh, Sela and uh, uh, I, think, I think Mr. Teo's uh, heart is always on distance running and he was trying to get Wilson to come to Singapore to help see how we can 
how to, to raise the standard of uh, uh, middle distance running in Singapore. And, and we went through the list and we asked Wilson, because he was here for a while, which, who he think is the, let's say, is he prepared to come here and help Singapore for one month or two months or three months to help the athlete and the coach to see whether they can improve. And he only identified one athlete. Is that correct? Please stand up. So he has identified to come, to, he's going to help free of charge Zachary and his coach for, for a month, at least a month. How are they going to help? We already you know. So we, we, we're going to, you see, we, we have done some of these uh, things where we, we try and see whether we can improve. Now, this is a trial thing and see whether we can help uh, uh, Zach to improve. Uh, I'm not saying his coach is not good, but I'm saying Wilson is a world champion, world record holder. I think for him to come and help, it will definitely give some value add to what we already have. So, uh, now, Kay is going to talk more, but more important, we, I want to say this is a dialogue session. I want you to ask questions. What you're not sure, ask. And then the, the ESCO, the committee are here to answer your question. Alright? Thank you.